Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we have another LEGO set review. This set is set number 40305. It is the 2018 LEGO brand store. I just got this this Christmas. It's a very cool set. Perfect for if you have a LEGO city, which I do, so I put it in there. If you haven't seen my most recent update, go check that out. Thank you also guys for all the support you've been giving me on my most recent videos. I've been growing more in subscribers. So, thank you for that. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and drop a like. Also, you guys will be able to comment on the LEGO videos since those are made for kids. Which is with all the new YouTube rules with Kappa. Here's the box. Very cool. This is a LEGO store exclusive. You can, so now you can buy it on legoshop.com. It's been out for almost two years now. But here is the back of the box. In the box I have the extra pieces and the instruction booklet, but I don't really need to show you guys those. Now onto the set itself. We're going to start with taking a look at these minifigures here. So here we have the little boy that comes with the set. He's probably there buying some Lego sets. There's his front torso detailing. I like him. I like his red hat. His little hood that he has on. Next we have, I guess, and they show on the box to make him as like a worker, but I guess you can also make him as the dad, so you can do whatever you want. I think they should have included a worker in this set with the Lego store shirt on, but I guess that's okay. So you can just use him as your worker or employee. I like his shirt a lot. And the design on the back. And the nice hair piece. So yeah, those are the two minifigures. Now onto the actual set itself. So... Here it is. As you can see, it's the Lego store. There's a sticker here. This is kind of like a modular. Like the creator modulars where you can remove things easily. And you can switch them around the arrangement. So I'll show you that in a second. As you can see, they're just on little jumpers here. Here we have a wall. Which is the pick-a-brick wall. Which I'll show you also in a second. Here on the outside, you can see the nice bricks here. And I like how they did the roof. Like a huge Lego brick on top here, that's what that's, what that's supposed to represent. And it just looks so nice how they did the architecture for this. I think this is just a really nice set for your Lego city. I like the flags out front here that it can move. And then this green flag that can move as well. Like I said, you can take the door off, which we'll take off for now. You can look inside, and you can see a bunch of nice things in there. There's windows up here and down here through the door and everything. But you can see everything that's on display. Here, this is supposed to represent like a little Lego city display. This is supposed to be like a train, and this is a fire truck. And then you can see the build your own minifigure station in the background. Which we'll get to the interior right now. You can remove this window, and you can put that down here if you want and remove the pick a, pick a, pick a brick wall and you can put the window here or you can put the door here so there's lots of different options if you want if you want the building more like this I don't think it looks too good like that but if I was to change I would put the window there and then you can put the pick a brick wall up here here is all the studs that you get for the pick a brick wall. I think it looks really nice. It's nice that they included that. And you can put that up here. So that's what it looks like on the second floor. But I keep it how it was designed, how you put it together. So I keep the pick a brick wall behind the cash register like it is at most Lego stores, at least my local one. I also keep the door in the front. And the window up top here. There's two of those windows that can be pulled out. We're going to take a look on the interior of the first floor. And by doing that, we're going to remove all of these things. Here's... Oh, that's fine. 
Here's what it looks like with a minifigure on the roof, by the way. You can remove each level, just like a modular building, which I think is very nice. In case you want to play with this thing or like access the interior, the roof comes off. And so does this second story. So now it's divided into three parts here, which is very nice. You Now you can see what it looks like better inside. There's a cash register here with a nice computer. Here we have like a little crate that can hold things. Uh, I think it's like a little display. I guess they're all sold out of whatever was in there. You can put whatever you want. Here we have a nice shelf. It has six Lego sets on it. Some Lego friends. Ninjago, Lego City, Ninjago, and Creator. So those are nice Lego sets for sale here in this Lego store. Like I said, there's a little Lego City here. These two little cars. And the display window, which is nice. Here's the pick a brick wall, and then the computer. Where your employee, whoever that might be, can stand behind. And the kid can come inside and buy whatever he wants. Now we're going to look at the second story, which also has two nice display windows on it. So we'll get rid of that for now. And you can see here's the flags again. The nice awnings. I just love how they made this set. I think it looks very nice. Some more Lego sets. I think it's nice that they included uh, 10 Lego sets for sale in this store. As you can see here, there's a little another crate, but this is a little foam shield for sale. It's supposed to go in like this, but I just clip it on here so it stays easier and it doesn't fall out. Here we have the build your own minifigure station, which is really nice that they included that. Like in a real Lego store. Creator, Lego Juniors, Lego City, more Juniors sets are for sale up here. Here's the display train and the display fire truck. So yeah, very cool how they did this. Many figures can go anywhere in there. You can easily attach it back on like so. And I can easily attach the roof back on, like so. And it's just perfect. It fits on everything well. And it looks very nice. On the side here, we have a little ATM machine. You can get your money for buying these sets in here. Because, you know, Lego's expensive. Which is a very nice, it's a very nice and designed ATM. You can get money to buy some Lego sets if you want to. From this ATM. I think it looks very nice. And here's what it looks like if this kid uses it. I think it's at a perfect spot. It's nice that they included this. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this Lego brand store. As I said, you can buy it at legoshop.com now. It's a pretty rare set. I think it looks very nice in my Lego city. Again, if you haven't seen that update, go check it out. My January 2020 update. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below any other video ideas or videos you want to see or set you want me to review. Maybe I'll buy them. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe, give the video a like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.